Hello all. So how are you all doing? So I hope you all doing very great. So today we are going to see regarding the coelom. So what is a coelom? So coelom is nothing but the cavity that is present in the body we call it as coelom. So what is a cavity? Why do we need a cavity? So cavity is nothing but that allows the organs to grow well. For example, if you see, we can grow to some extent, but freely we can grow. But that is not the thing with sponges, the darians, and tenophora because they don't have any space inside their body. So creating a space inside the body is also much more advantageous for in an evolutionary basis also. So let's see. Uh, we have so coelom is nothing but a body cavity. That's very simple. We have different types of coelums. We have a coelomate, pseudo coelomate, and u coelomate. So what is a coelomate? Before going into this, I'll tell you one simple trick. In biology, if you have a prefix of a or an before the word, remember that means absent or no. If you have e or eu as a prefix before the word, which means true. Okay, so like here it is a coelomate. So obviously the body cavity is absent. The coelom is absent. So what are the organisms which don't have the coelom? So the phylums which don't have the coelom is phylum Porifera, phylum Nidaria, phylum Tenophora, or and phylum Platyhelminthes. These will not have any sort of coelom. If you see, these organisms are under cellular tissue and organ level of class uh, organization. Let's coming to pseudo coelom. So the pseudo coelom is nothing but uh, you will be having the coelom like a pouches. So the mesodermally lined coelom will be present as a pouches, which is not actually true. So the pseudo coelom will be there only in one phylum that is nematoda or we otherwise call nematohelminthes or asclehelminthes. The example for this is ascaris. Okay, so we otherwise call it as round worm. And these are the only phylum which will be having pseudo coelom. And next we have the u coelom. So the true coelom which is the space which is truly entirely lined by mesoderm. That we call it as u coelom. And the organisms which will come under u coelom is from annelida to Chordata. All are u coelomates. So coming to the another uh, difference between the u coelom, we have two types. One is schizocelum and other one is enterocelum. So schizocelum are the coelom which develop, which is originated from splitting of the mesoderm. If the coelom is being originated by the splitting of mesoderm, then we call it as schizocelum. Example, Annelida, Orthropoda, Mollusca will come under the category of schizocelum. And next, what is enterocelum? Enterocelum is nothing but the coelom which is as an outgrowth of the gut wall. So the coelom which got originated from the outgrowth of the gut wall, we call it as enterocelum. So echinodermata, hemichordata and chordata will come under enterocelum. So this is regarding the coelom, nothing but the body cavity. And remember one thing, the body cavity will allow us to grow the organs and organ systems. So because of that, the essential thing, the body cavity has become an essential thing in an evolutionary basis also or in a phylogenetic basis also. I hope all of your doubts regarding the coelom got classified, clarified including the examples. So thank you very much.